Hey guys, Karan Baba here. Today I want to go through the three stages of film production. So these three stages are pre-production, production and post-production. I'm not going to go into full detail of every single thing involved in each stage, but I want to give you a quick summary so you have a good idea of what you're getting yourself into so you can make the best film ever. Let's get right into it. So the pre-production stage is essentially the planning stage of this film. So when you have the story, where do you go from there? So first you're going to write your script, you know, putting it into that correct format so that one page equals one minute of film approximately and, you know, having the correct universal formatting of the script so, you know, from the crew and from the actors and everyone can actually understand what's going on and what's happening in this film. Next, the storyboard. So this is where you can put your years and years of stick figure drawing practice. Do your full storyboard, put in shot for shot of how you envision this film and where you see it going. This is where everything in your brain goes down onto paper. Character descriptions. So this is, these are more detailed uh, pages of you know the characters that the actors are playing. I guess a background information on these characters that might not be involved in the script. It's just to give the actors you know a good mojo of who this person is, full background, where they were brought up, the pets they have maybe, giving them a literal bio of who these characters are so the actors can just jump into their shoes. So once you've decided what kind of crew you're going to have on set, it's best to write down the descriptions and their roles and responsibilities so there's no confusion on set when the filming begins, especially when you have more than one person in each department of the films. Drafting up call sheets. So this is pretty much the schedule of what's happening on the film day, you know, so when's the call time, when does everyone arrive on set, uh, when the lunch time is, pretty much a good full schedule of what's happening on the day, just so everyone's on top of everything and they can plan accordingly. Release forms. Now, this is super important, even if you're making a film with your friends, um, to make sure that everyone in front of screen, so, you know, actors and extras, sign a release form so you have, you know, a proof of signature of them being okay to be being in front of screen just in case they come back um, you know in a week in a month in a year's time saying that they don't want to be shown in that film anymore it's a bit of a bummer but once you have that signature it's, it's really really good written proof that you had their consent in ha and having them in front of screen so this could apply to any actor of any caliber and extras as well so make sure you have those release forms signed and when it comes to locations as well you gotta get some location release forms signed and this is, of course, a just-in-case scenario where after the film's finished, someone comes back to you and they're like, no, you actually can't use that location because um, I didn't ask you to or you, you, you trespassed or something. So having the proof of signature is the best thing you can have when it comes to these kinds of situations. And going on from that, location scouting. So, you know, just having a quick look over your script on what's required, what locations are required, creating a mood board, you know, having a good feel of what you want the environment to look like to give you a good period of time to plan your shots and also make changes in your script if necessary. Rehearsing with actors. So this is a great time to put all your actors in one room and go over the script together, you know, have a good table read, um, debunk some of the scenes, go over some character traits, just to give them a good uh, mojo, so to say, um, and get them prepared for the actual scene. And this actually reduces time rehearsing on set, which is excellent. Catering, so this is super important. Make sure to draft up a, a checklist of the food you're going to provide on set and make sure to ask people of their dietary requirements. The last thing you want is someone on set to have an, an allergic reaction and that is a big no-no. Okay, now moving on to the production side of things. This is a super, super simple stage. Production pr essentially means filming, you know, if you're actually in production of the film. Um, so this entails coming on shoot day, you know, filming the film and finishing up at the end of the day. So very, very simple, but once you have a schedule in place of what's happening on the day, it's really good to actually improvise and add some extra things in there that would benefit the, the crew and the cast, such as um, having a safety talk at the start of every film day, you know, um, acknowledging all the risks on set and the course of action on how to get around those risks. And now moving on to the post-production side of things, when everything's filmed, everything's completed, fingers crossed, and I said to reshoot, hope it's not. But yes, we're going to the post-production side of things. Um, this is when we come back home with the footage. First thing we could do is back it up. Please, please, please back up the footage. Um, you know, just create other two or three backup copies, one at home, one elsewhere, you know, in Iceland. Just so, just in case, you know, the house burns down, your film is safe. Like, houses are temporary, film is forever. So make sure to prioritize that. 
and back up your film. And then we move on to video editing where we edit the film together, we create some you know, cool rushes, we create some cool scenes, we put the scenes together. This is where the rough cut of the film comes together and what's involved in this video editing process are things like colour correction and colour grading where we make sure you know the colours match the tone of the film and actually help the story move forward and also uh, the sound effects and the sound design of the film. Sound is super super important, um, it actually makes up sometimes 70% of the whole film because you can have really good sound and have crappy footage and still enjoy a good film but if you have really good footage and crappy sound it doesn't really feel the same, actually doesn't really feel right, it actually feels like a low quality kind of video because your ears are used to amazing sound. But anyway, I'll let you be the judge of that. So yeah, after video editing, after color grading, uh, you know, doing the sound effects, there may be some visual effects shots to do as well. You can actually use visual effects to enhance the scene, making the use of green screens, you know, replacing backgrounds, there's so much you can do and there's so much involved in that realm. It's actually super, super exciting. And after all that's done, we publish the video, you know, put it up on YouTube, submit it to some film festivals. But yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the post-production and production as a whole. And that's it, there's your film. That's a uh, quick summary of everything that's involved in the pre-production stage, the production stage, and the post-production stage. I wanna actually go into more detail into these stages in future videos, um, look out for them. But until then, I'll see you next time. Good luck with your film.